Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. Friday. It's Friday. Friday. So, guys, I'm not doing um live streams, okay, today, just because I'm going. Oh my God, I mean, let me skip a whole list, a long list of topics for 2000. Look, huge list of topics for 2019, and. Uh, I don't necessarily need to read over all of them because you're probably familiar with all of them. So it's basically a look into obviously Trump, the administration, the political situation, Supreme Court, Nancy Pelosi, GOP, Turtle, Fox News, House, Senate, Obama, Stock Market, Jared, Don Jr., Ivan, Ivanka, Russia, Wilbur Ross. So all of the people who are involved in this, the stuff we've been looking into. Okay, so so it's even hard to start. Okay, because it, I feel like it's better to start with the broad brush strokes, okay, and then look into into more details. Okay, so so I'm just trying to think here, guys. I think what I'm gonna do first. I was I was like, okay, do I ask the question, what are going to be the biggest changes in 2019? Or do I do a timeline? Okay, timeline trimester. So January through March, then April, June, then July, September, and then October, December. Okay, so even though, of course, those things can change, I feel like I'm just trying to think here, guys. Yeah, I think I'm going to do. First, I'm going to do the, 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 the time, okay, because the kind of thing, you know, I, and I thought, oh, maybe I should do visions, but you know what, the problem with visions for something very broad, it can be very, it can be a little, a little tired, a little draining, okay, because, just because, so, so let me know, I mean, just quickly, what, where should I start here with this, with this looking to 2019? Guys, the first image I got here was people on the streets protesting. Like it reminds me of images of the '60s, okay? And uh, and then Trump kind of angry and and the government changing, okay? So so this is it, okay? I see that. I see this. I see the, you know how Fox and Trump, whatever, they're basically dictating the narrative. Even if it's, we react to the narrative, they're still dictating. They're not going to be able to do this anymore. Okay, so. It's just a lot of upheaval and change. As the gaslighting is, is uh, deactivated, okay, right? Because they needed the lying machine in order to make to pretend these things are going on. And what is interesting, guys, I see here is that what it's not narrating is that it's saying the irony of Trump and the Trump administration was that by creating this fictitious reality. And lying to everyone in a way that is such so blatant to hide their corruption and treason, they have given voice to the people. You know, they have made people like us organize and participate, and also fight and speak for the truth. So, you know, in a way, it strengthens us, right? So, what happens is that if before Trump, the country was pretty much Turn the blind eye to people like the Cokes and all those things, you know, all those things that are sort of uh, working against the majority of the population. Now there's going to be changes because it's pretty obvious that this is what has led to Trump. So this is what I see, okay? Because what it, if before all, 
basically what led to Trump was a strengthening of, of the, I don't even want to say conservatives because I don't even know these people conservatives. Just to say the, so, so, I'm saying the libertarians, like a, basically the sociopath, like so, sociopathy in the government, right? Destructive government. So destroying the government, destroying social programs and all those things. So those people were in strength, were strengthened for several reasons because they had money, they had power. And gra this gradually went into the, all these ideas that back 20 years ago used to be completely unacceptable. Now they're just kind of mainstream. But once the whole thing is uncovered, then it looks like there, there's a loss of, uh, they lose their threat. And as such, we are strengthened, right? Because obviously we wanted to participate in the government, but we couldn't for whatever, you know, for several reasons, right? They wanted to, you know, all, the, all those, those tax reforms, uh, cutting health care and all those things. So now it shows that once they lose, once the whole game is exposed, then they, it's like they had something. This is what is, I think is astounding here, what I see, is that they had something. They had, they had made their gains, and it wasn't enough for them. They wanted everything. So, so instead of being happy with what they had, they wanted to have it all, and that's how they lost everything. Okay, this is what it, it looks like. It's the moral of the story here. And I don't know what, you know, before I close my eyes, what I was expecting. I thought it was going to be something with Editor Muller. But it shows that it's a much, you know, the picture is much bigger here. It's not just Trump or, or Mueller or the GOP. It's the bigger, it's the bigger scope, okay? So. So that's that. Okay, I'm going to stop here because I am going to use cards. So um, let me get started, okay? All right. Okay, guys, so I decided to do one, one column per month. So basically, you, one trimester per spread, okay? So, so here we have roughly, and as you know, these things change, okay? So timing is, is fluid, but just elements that are going to come into play, okay? So, okay, so here. Okay, so first, before I show the cards, they definitely change, and there's an expectation that Trump was going to leave. Okay, so so first, let's just start here with the Jan would be January. Okay, but like I said, this is pretty fluid. It's just elements that are going to come into play. Okay, so okay, chariot okay. upside down. So there's a, this is victory, willpower, either that sort of authoritarian, like using will, abuse of power, or something wrong with the victory. Tree, growth, the country, the family, okay? I, As you guys know, I don't really necessarily like people cards. It's not, I don't, it, this is, so I always pull another, another card. So this is a change here, okay? So there's a change. Then we have a letter, which could be indictments in the military here. So my sense is that there is, I think, Either the, the sense of the growing authoritarian regime is has gone too far or that it's time for a change. And the change comes through these either subpoenas or indictments, okay? Now, as you guys know, for years, I've, for over a year, I've been seeing this connection with the military. And I think this could very well be this, okay? So, so that's that, okay? I think it's the sense of... Uh, um, not fighting the power, but this is a you know a arm wrestling. Okay, that Trump wants to assert his power in a to have a lot more power than he he actually has. Okay, that he should have according to the Constitution, and so and so this is a, he's he's trying to see as far like how far can he go, and that's how he falls. Okay, I believe. Okay, now let's see here. Then we have. This is beginning of plans. Okay, this is talking, beginning of plans, conversations, talk, conversations. Now, the, and this is a lot of money. Money that can't be, this is the gambling money, meaning money that can't be accounted for. 
expectation, longing, or waiting, and lies. Okay, falsita basically lies. So I think essentially that the money is is really what we know. I mean, it's pretty obvious that there's some quote unquote the collusion here. Okay, just from if if you even just look at how Russia dictates the conversation and Trump does that, it's pretty obvious. But what really shows the evidence is the money. Okay, and this is what it suggests here is that there is people can't stop talking about it. Okay, the money, the the indictments connected to money. Okay. And now this is world network or vision or, or vision for the future expectation. Okay. Ending of something. And then ending, what is it? Should it baby? Should it baby? So I think the first trimester, what it suggests here is that this is like the power, abuse of power, power, the abuse of power has gone too far. Okay. And then we have here new making plans for the future and the world. Okay. Um, the world is, is, is the world is the last card of the uh, great, great arcana of the tarot. So that means big accomplishment. It also means something international. Okay. So it could also mean that this has to do, you know, the whole thing with Trump is an international, it was an international scam, an international plan. And there's all these conversations that reveal their plans, changes because of the money or the path of the money reveal the changes that will happen. And they're going to have to happen really pretty soon. I, I, I think the changes is not just in terms of the government itself, but changes that it could be broader because I think once we see the role that dark money has played, it looks like a lot has to change. Okay. So, so we see this here, letter expectation of an ending. So whatever document comes out connected to this would mean this, the ending of Trump and the military exposes the lies of Trump. Okay. There's something here connected to the military. If anything, if not our military, then the GRU, right? The GRU is the military intelligence that could, that worked with Trump, even on the WikiLeaks stuff, this kind of thing. Okay, so this is it. Now, that's what it shows. This is the first trimester. That would be the, the tone of things. Okay, so don't, you know, this is not super precise, but let's look at this. Now, let me move. I did, I did one month. Let's do another. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more months and then kind of, take out the ones that as they get out of, they move away from the screen. Okay. So this is burden, meaning somebody has a lot to tell a lot. There's a lot there. And what is this is government. So there's a lot behind the scenes that needs to be reviewed. This is documents or something private. A false person lies, deceit. And this is a part of the money with the man with money. Okay. The powerful Lord. That would be the donors or the, I think whoever financed Trump. So there's a lot that's going to become known about how Trump, the Trump operation was financed. Okay. And how the money, because it looks like the money trail is really where it's, that's going to show us everything. Okay. So then we have misinformation. This would be this April. Okay. Now let's move here a little bit further. This is um, May. public or society. Where is that? Oh, what was my saying? Okay. Which all there is on top here. So what is it? Okay. So a long way for a long time. This is the court person and an ending. So So it looks like there is the increasing exposure of we start to get to know what was really going on. The lies are exposed, okay, to the public. The stuff is, has been going on. This there's a law person here, and there's an interruption and ending and breaking point. So it's you know it could be that finally we get the um, you know the this is a man writing a report. It could be that Mueller's, I feel like Trump will leave before this report comes out or whatever they would call it. Or it could be that there's all these investigations in Congress about this. Okay. 
it, anyway, it's the exposure of all the, the misinformation and all those things that are coming out at last. Okay, so that would be May. Now let's do June. And this is wrong focus. Okay, an ending. Theft, right? Something illegal. Sad news. Loyalty. Okay, so. So I feel like this this here towards the summer reminds me of of a person who was diagnosed with a disease. Okay, and then the doctors have to find out the depth of the disease. So this is kind of like that, okay. There's all these news about the depth of corruption, trees and all those things, okay? So so this is it. And I feel like this dark, it's what is interesting here is that the, the somber mood. I feel like if if and when Trump leaves, there's going to be some sort of celebration, of course, but a very dark summer, literally, okay? It looks, looks like once we start to look at what has happened under his, you know, his, I guess we call it a command, even though he hasn't really commanded anything, right? It's very, very serious, so it's sombering. Okay, so June, now let's go to July. July. Yeah. So, so guys, I feel like as I look at this, okay, this t I get this image, this flash of of all the Congress hearings, and I feel and I hear uh, con a Congressman Adam Schiff is in it from the ju Judiciary Committee. He was interviewed, and this is revelations of all the the deals and all those things that happened. And it's going to be, I feel like, guys, it's going to be twenty, almost like twenty four hours a day. All these hearings are going to take over. Because we need to, in order to move on to do anything, you need to figure out what the, what the who the bad guys are, get him out of the government, and this is uh, the prison here would suggest so because we have here the not people not sleeping, documents, marriage, and then successful marriage leads to prison. So it's the point where we're figuring out who is you know what the deals were, who's connected to that, and recommending criminal investigations. Okay, so. So you know what I mean? So whatever comes up in Congress, people are going to be, there's going to be criminal consequences and some people may go to jail. So this is July. Now let's go August. This is strength upside down, so it and a lot of money, letter, um, and then stress, suffering, conversations. This is people that are called a group of people. So I feel like this is the, because there's money here, there may be issues with maybe stock market, but it's connected to all the revelations. It's almost as if everything, you know, we're, we're really finding out everything is coming out. Obviously, obviously the media has been reporting on these things. You know, a lot of it is find out through the media, but at the same time, Trump thus far has in some ways controlled the news cycle. Okay. So when he's not controlling the news cycle anymore, then you have the revelations. Okay. You can't, you, there's no counter story here. Okay. So that's what it is. It shows that this is pretty dark, especially it's interesting, especially for the summer, right? So, Okay, so then and then September let me just leave it here. This is August and September. Okay. 
Yeah, so so this is also, it looks like September reminds me of the month of fumigation. So this is painful ending. The snake would be traitors or people who pretend to be something they're not. The journey, meaning foreign, connected to foreign powers. This is the court. Okay. And then La Constanza, something that has been going on, but they may leave. So, so this is the, I feel like I've said before, there's going to be several layers and several sort of different concentric circles here. And it looks like the people that are connected to this first is the bigger pe people and then lo lower and lower. But I think the sense that these people are not going to escape. Okay. But it's, it's going to be a few of them. One, not one at a time, but there's different layers and they are going to be forced to leave. if They haven't left already, but it's pretty serious. Okay. September. Now let's see October. You see court. This is the journals over here. But court is is making obviously is a big deal. Um, and again, foreign something foreign power changes. And I feel like finally it looks something unexpected or soon. I feel like this is a September, October. It reminds me of the, you remember how Obama, right before he left be, because of the Russian meddling in the elections, he kicked out a lot of people from the country. This reminds me of that a bit, but except that this is, there's going to be consequences to people who are in the U.S. for war collaborating basically with the enemy. So, so this is the cleansing, okay? Just essentially it seems to be like a cleansing period, okay? So... October, November. Let's see, November. Let's see here. Oh, it's like, oh, prison, really? I'm so sorry for you. Good, <laughs> that's what there's nothing to do about it. People fighting all the way. Moving on from losses, and then let's do December. So, yeah, so I feel like. This is shady connections, the love is upside down, then you have a card of election or different paths, right? So so choosing something. And here we have, as you guys know, I don't like, I don't account for, it's like, and I've said this before, you know, it's always generic. Oh, there's a woman, there's a man. Oh, yeah. There's always a woman, there's always a man. That's that's life, okay? But what's important is the context. So what is the context here? I think it could be very well, Russia. But, okay, here we have, the Justice Department essentially and now this is the man with money and negative legal resolutions okay so it shows that the, the Justice Department goes after whoever financed may have financed the Trump election and so what it shows to me guys is that the pattern here that's suggested okay is that first we have what looks like, and I could be wrong, obviously, okay, that Trump could probably, the, the, the end of the Trump administration will probably happen in the first trimester. The second trimester has, you know, that there's a lot of shock and there's a lot that's revealed, okay, towards the second and third. And I think this summer you see more consequences to the economy as a result of the, move, the moves of the Trump administration. And towards the end of the year, you have incarceration, Okay, you have people going to jail, you have the um, very tough laws or, or sentences against people who have done this thing, and you have the forcing these people out of the government. And obviously, once the administration leaves, these people are supposed to leave, especially the cabinet, but who? But what about all these people that got the jobs through the Justice Department, right? I'm sorry, through Trump, Trump administration appointed in all these different, um, you know, what do you call it? Uh, government agencies and so forth so i feel like it's the expurgation of all these people okay and i feel like they're gonna have to not just be kicked out if they are foreign agents but that there's gonna have to be uh you know 
very serious accounting for who, who are these people, where, who, where do they come from, what's their connection. So, right, so if they were, were helping out treason, so what's what's the deal here, right? So so that's what it shows, but I feel like it's, it's sort of like the antibiotics, okay? You have to kill all the bacteria, otherwise they're going to come back stronger. So, so that's what it shows, guys, okay? I don't feel like there's a lot of joy here, to be honest, obviously, not obviously, but because I think, oh, it would be so great if Trump is not here, but then we're going to find out all the disease and all this, this disgusting stuff. That's phase two, okay? So that's what it shows, okay? I feel like it's a somber year of, of cleansing. And I see, almost see like a magazine cover, like a Time magazine or something. I actually see Nancy Pelosi. I see the the year of glory of cleansing, okay? The, the year of, uh, because it's figuring out what, you know, what has happened. Like, what the hell, okay? So. Look at a lot of investigations, okay? And a lot of, it's not even a surprise. I think towards next year, people are going to be like, wow, what else can we find out? Even though, like I said before, um, before, we, we've read all these things in the media, okay? Most of us have been following the news very extensively, doing our own research. But what it shows is that then we have the legal consequences, okay, of all of this. That's information. It, it, it congeals into indictments and, and legal consequences to those people who were involved in this scheme. So, <clears throat> so that's what it looks like. Now, I'm going to look. This is just the beginning, okay, and I am going to look into more detail. But that's, that's what I feel like, okay? It's the reckoning it's the exposing of what's hidden okay at last all right because that was part two of the consequences of trump okay all right i'm going to stop here and then i'm going to start another one